so, so as soon as uh, uh, Nick uh, appointment got announced, one of my close friends sent me an email which j said, "Just free at last, free at last." <laughs> so I cannot tell you how I, delighted I am uh, to, to, to introduce an absolutely extraordinary uh, uh, successor, actually uh, an extraordinary couple who are succeeding Mary Catherine and myself. Uh, this is not about me, this is about them. So I'm going to immediately hand it over to uh, uh, Professor Dirks and Banke, who are going to be your leaders for the indefinite future. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Uh, it is an absolute thrill and indeed a great honor to take on this major responsibility for one of the greatest universities in the world. And I'm, and I'm only saying one of the greatest because I still actually work for a place in New York. But I want to thank Chancellor Bergenau and Mary Catherine Bergenau for their warm welcome and also for agreeing to stay on for another five months so that I can get some more frequent flyer miles as I travel back and forth between New York and the Bay Area and actually have some time to get to meet some of you before I have to take on uh, this, uh, this extraordinary responsibility. I'd like to introduce my colleague and wife, Professor Janaki Bakle. She is a professor of history at Columbia, uh, is one of the most popular professors whose course, Gandhi's India, uh, earns far better rankings and ratings than anything I've ever taught. <laughs> so whatever you think about the new chancellor, you have a great new colleague in the Department of History if all goes, if all goes well uh, over the next weeks in terms of, in terms of arranging that. But, I just want to say a few words. I want to thank you for coming out today. I want to thank the weather for uh, postponing the, 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 the deluge until later. But, uh, but this really is a, an enormous thrill for me. I uh, spent the first part of my academic career in California. I taught at Caltech uh, down in Pasadena. And uh, while I was there, my father uh, passed away, but he had been himself a California transplant. He had taught most of his life at the Yale Divinity School, moved across the country to be the Dean of Humanities at the University of California in Santa Cruz. And of course, he did this just after I'd gone off to graduate school in Hyde Park in Chicago, something about which I uh, complained on a regular basis because I always thought that uh, every time I came out here, this would be the perfect place to live. Uh, but I uh, was in Pasadena, I went to Ann Arbor, was at the University of Michigan, and there I learned about how a great university is even greater when it's a great public university and how the, comp the capacity of... <laughs> it's genuinely true. It's true at a, at a number of universities that, uh, that are public that are able to combine excellence and a commitment to access and diversity in a way that makes them completely seamless, totally complementary, and not as they are sometimes represented to be, uh, different kinds of imperatives that lead to uh, contradictions and, and, and difficulties. Uh, and it was there that I, that I realized that really, uh, in a way, uh, the public mission that all universities aspire to uh, is most naturally and most uh, expertly accomplished really by a public university. Uh, but there is no public university system about which I've had greater regard over the years than the University of California, and there has no single university for which I've had greater regard than the University of California at Berkeley. So when I was asked to take on this role, as much as I've loved my time at Columbia, and as much as I will confess to thinking that I'm going to miss New York City, I thought this is the one place I could come to and have absolutely no re regrets at all. So I am, <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. I'm looking forward to meeting as many of you as I can. Uh, I am deeply committed to working with the faculty, with the staff, with, of course, the students who make up this great university. Uh, to also uh, coming into contact with as many of the alumni 
of this great university as possible. There are 450,000 alumni at the University of California in Berkeley, so I will meet every one of you, I'm sure, <laughs> in the fullness of time. But, uh, but for now, I'm just uh, delighted to, to be here uh, and delighted to take the very warm welcome I've had and now start packing and anticipating uh, all the fun we'll have working together in the, in the years ahead. So thanks so much for being here and go Bears! <laughs> Okay, thank you everyone, and now we have the Cal Band.